Hey guys, what is up? Today I will be critiquing the iPhone 5 promo video, but essentially the iPhone 5 itself. Castler offline, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. I know I said I was going to upload a video mid-September, but close enough. It's right here, and the topic will be um, here later on. I have no idea when, because I've been extremely busy. Anyways, let's get to it. <laughs> Whew. Man, I'm not shocked at these ratings. I'm really not. So let's get started. When you think about your iPhone, it's probably the object that you use most in your life. It's, it's the product that you have with you all the time with this unique relationship people have. Okay, okay, first off, what the hell is he talking about? Obviously, if any phone, if you have a phone, obviously you're paying your bills. Obviously, you'd have that phone with you whenever, wherever you go because obviously you got the phone for urgency or just to use why would you pay for something and not use it daily that's what you use a freaking cell phone for it's not just the iphone i don't know where you're going with this buddy johnny i or whatever the hell that is senior vice president designer you suck ass no i'm just kidding you don't suck ass but i'm just saying that was totally irrelevant and stupid because you do the same thing with almost any phone unless you have like an old crappy phone then you most likely don't but anyways and with the right phone, we take changing it really seriously. We changing it really seriously. The phone has looked the same ever since it came out. I know, like, because it's an iPhone, it should look re relatively the same, but it's looked basically the exact same for the last years it's been out. Come on now. You don't care about changing it. You're just changing a little bit of design just, just, just for the point of saying, oh yeah, it's changed. Because obviously no one's going to buy it if you just keep saying it's a new version. And anyways, let's just... Let's we don't want to, to just make a new phone. We want to make a much better phone. iPhone 5 is the result of this approach. It's been completely redesigned. And for the first time ever, we've increased the size of the display. By making the screen My exact point. This is your first time ever changing like anything about it. This is your first time changing the display and how long has the phone been out exactly? Yeah, that's what I thought. And how does it look completely different? Yeah, I'd I'd really like to know completely redesigned my asshole. Over, but not wider. You can see more of your content, but still comfortably use it with one hand. And yet even with the larger okay, what's so special about this? Like, half the Android phones have huge ass displays. Like, where are you going with this, buddy? Display. iPhone 5 is the thinnest, lightest iPhone we've ever built. No shit. What's it supposed to get thicker as, as time progresses? Buddy, technology's in advancing. Every single phone's getting thinner. It's not special. Calm down. Calm down. Half of this stuff, half of the things said in this video are really pointless in my opinion. It's my opinion. To achieve a design this thin, we had to look at making many of the components inside the design small. It's actually 18% thinner and... Wasn't that common sense? Obviously, if you're going to make a phone smaller, you're going to have... Or thinner, to be exact. Obviously, everything inside of it also has to be thinner. Like, are, do you think we're completely retarded? We're completely retarded that we can't tell what's been done. Jeez. Twenty percent lighter than the previous iPhone. It took an. Oh, twenty percent lighter. Obviously, it's lighter if it's thinner. Incredible cross collaborative effort to do this. From the beginning, we knew we wanted to bring LTE to the iPhone. What LTE does is it enables really fast downloads over your cellular network. You'll notice a big difference compared to previous network connectivity. In fact, LTE can actually be faster than the average Wi-Fi connection at home. The conventional approach of designing LTE into a world phone uses two chips. With the new iPhone, both voice and data technology are combined onto a single chip. 
this is one of the real breakthroughs that enables iPhone 5's thin design. We're also introducing an all-new Apple... Well, I must admit that is a pretty cool addition. That, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. ...design A6 chip. It delivers performance that's up to twice as fast as the previous generation. You'll experience a big increase in speed in everything you use your iPhone for. Here we go, here we go. We're going to detail with stuff that is internal, right? We're, we're, we're getting it in, we're getting it in. Good, good progress. Double the speed. Why the hell was it slow? That slow the last time anyways. But well, that's good, that's good. Double the speed. Important and very useful information. This is the info people come to this video to hear, not just the phone looks completely the same exact. The phone looks completely different, but it looks exactly the same. So we're just bullshitting all of you. Like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. I'm waiting.